Welcome back. Let's continue from where we left off in the previous tutorial. Let's now look at a few utility functions. So I'll just uh, create a test utility functions. And let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a string. For string is equal to ABC. Okay. Uh, let's start with uh, the uh, simple utility function called starts with first string dot starts with a b so this actually would return us true because this first string starts with uh, a b if i do assert i need to import Should have been a small a. Control y. Um, I would do uh, assert false starts with bc because it doesn't start with bc. So let's just run this test. It runs through. So the starts with methods work. Uh, the other uh, opposite uh, functions are uh, assert true. I would want to check ends with so what are the last characters so does it ends with bc yes does it ends with ab i would need to change here so what we are checking here is the first string ends with bc yes that's true so check it uh the first string ends with ab no that's false so check that it's false that's basically what we are doing so that works so no failure in the j unit that's real good the other utility method which is present inside a string object is actually called get car at sorry it's called carrot it returns back the character up at a particular location so let's say i want to get the character at location one and as with or everything the index starts with zero so this is zero and this is one so i should expect the character should to be b so let's check if that's if i can't use as a true because i'm actually now so let's check whether the first character at uh, one is b that's good so that's how you use a carrot method uh, it's fetches you the character at a particular index and the index always starts with zero the other uh, useful method in a string is string length i'll assert equals first string dot length uh, here the length of the string is three so that's another useful method inside uh, the string object let's run it and just make sure everything is fine that's good so this works uh, let's uh, look at a few more uh, utility methods for example uh, i would want to check whether uh, this string contains a pattern so i would want to check whether this string contains uh, ab it does contain ab so it should return back true that's good it succeeds now let's search for a pattern which is not there in here let's say i am searching for de here i should make it as a false because it comes back as false and it works so uh, now we have learned a bit about contains starts with ends with and caret methods uh, there are a few more utility methods like lowercase uppercase so let's go ahead and check them out too uh, assert equals I would want to do a lowercase of the first string so I'll do a first string dot to lowercase so what would be the output of this is a b c all small so let's check if they are equal perfect that works so 
we have looked at a few utility methods uh, inside this uh, string. Let's now uh, sh turn our focus to how you can actually uh, get a part of this string. So I want to get a substring from this part of the string methods. So what I want to be able to do is get some part of the string alone. So first string is equal to let's say I want I create g h i j. I want to get a substring out of it. So let's say assert equals uh, first string. Uh, I want to get the string uh, from the third character. So that's basically 0, 1, 2, and 3. So from here on, the character. So that's basically the string which gets written back to me when I do a substring of 3. So let's see if this works. That's good. That's, that works. Now if substring also accepts uh, parameters, uh, two parameters, I can say substring from 3 for four characters. So that returns me starting with three, four characters. So D E F G. That's basically how it works. No, that's not how the substring works. The way the substring works is it gets the uh, gets starting from the index three to the index four, and it doesn't get the character at index four. So if we look at the, like let's say I change this test to do three comma five, this is the character at index three, and this is index five. What it would get me is starting from three and ending at five, but not actually containing five. So it would return me back the e. So let's just run this. It succeeds. So that's how the substring method works. One important thing to avoid while using strings is the tendency to create a new string object. You don't need to do this, even though this would work and this would give you the right results, but this is not needed because a string constant itself is an object. If you wrap a new string around it, you are actually creating another object of the same thing that's not really needed. So that's something which you need to be careful of when we are using a string. The next method which we will you test is the split method. I want to split a string into a sequence of characters. So split of string. How I can do that? Let's say I have a string representing a sequence of characters. Let's say I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say this is a sequence of characters and I would want to do to split the string. When I split a string, actually I would get back an array of splitter is equal to first string dot split and I would want to split it based on the character comma so let's see what happens what happens when I do a string split up is first let's check the size of this as it equals uh, first string splitter dot sorry dot length uh, I have one two three four so the three commas so it creates four divisions so I think the length of the split would be four and I would also want to check a few elements so I want to check whether the first element of the thing is one so I'll check if asset equals one comma first string split up of zero so first thing is one uh, I'll also check a few other things let's probably check the last element also so first split up three is four so uh, first string would be at index 0 that's this index 1 2 index 3 would be index 2 would be 3 index 
3 would be 4. So that's basically what the output I should be getting would be. So let's run this and see if it works. That's good. So this is how you split a string into multiple strings based on a delimiter. Uh, you can use uh, a space or whichever way. I can, instead of using uh, come as a delimiter, probably I can even use space as a delimiter. So, no change in the test. It remains as it is and it would work. So, uh, you have learned uh, a few utility methods about this spring in this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll uh, learn a lot more about other Java classes. We are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.